Good morning, everybody. I'm Ryan here once again with Michigan Storm Chasers. Going to give a video update on today's severe risk here in the state of Michigan. So latest 9 a.m. SPC outlook did shift that marginal risk level one out of five there in dark green. It did get shifted back to the west. Go ahead and zoom in here. We have it now, including places like Alma, Ionia, Hastings, Kalamazoo, as well as Three Rivers, Coldwater, and Saginaw. So we had a little bit of a shift bump back to the west there to be expected with this, although no upgrade to slate at this point. Does not appear they're going to do that. There is one more chance to do that at 12.30 p.m. today. Although they haven't done it already, I don't think they're going to do it at all. So it should be a pretty solid marginal risk here uh, for the areas here in dark green. Primary hazard here, damaging winds. This is your damaging wind map. So we call a 5% here for the exact same areas. And also your hail risk is a little bit displaced off to the east of that risk. So Lansing down to Coldwater. And we'll go ahead and say Saginaw, Bad Axe places east into Lake Huron and Lake Erie, as well as Ontario. All right, so damaging winds, large hail, your only risks, or should I say your only concern today, tornadoes are just not looking likely uh, with the lack of low-level wind shear, as well as just kind of lacking in some mid-levels now as well. We're kind of seeing a little bit of a downtrend in our shear. So not concerned uh, for tornadoes today, which is good news. As far as timing goes, nothing has really changed since like last, or should I say yesterday's uh, videos and live streams that we did. Looking at the model here, and we're going to run this through the time frame here. So here is 8 a.m. Here's 9 a.m. It's already uh, 941. I'm making this video right now. Here's 10 a.m. Some pop-ups begin to form. Here's 11. The main concern begins at 12 p.m. Here we see the first cell popping up down here by Kalamazoo. We'll go ahead and say keep an eye on these as well. The ones further south will be the ones to watch here. Further north should just be some storms, potentially some heavy rain up there. But here's uh, 1 p.m. here. That line develops here. Here's 2 p.m. It's in Lansing already up toward Tri-City, Saginaw, Flint areas down toward Coldwater. Here's 3 p.m. It kind of pulls north, avoids Hillsdale and Lenawee counties there. But then we have that move off into the thumb, and we have redevelopment on the south side of that line towards Hillsdale County and also in toward uh, Livingston, Oakland counties there, uh, Wayne, Lenawee as well. So multiple rounds, multiple storms possible today. And we also have some more behind this. Those should not be uh, severe after this. this is 11 p.m. at this point just some showers maybe an isolated lightning strike up there if any instability is left over in the state but overall concern is going to be with this main line here 1 p.m to 7 p.m 1 p.m further to the west 7 p.m should be clearing the state so between those two time frames or at least around those two time frames will be the area of interest slash concern for severe weather here i do want to also highlight switching back over here to the up as well we cannot forget our up uh michigander folks up there we do have this line of storms working through later on this afternoon they'll clear out but then a second line begins. This is at 5 p.m. Here's 6 p.m. These storms over here in the western part of the UP may be on the strong to severe side. There is a risk for severe weather up there that does butt into uh, that area up here by Ironwood. doesn't go too far into the UP, uh, but it is catching our attention enough to say, hey, we're going to watch this just in case. This is at 8 p.m. tonight. Here's 9. Here's 10. And they should be dying out by 10. So when all said and done, potential damaging winds, large hail down here in the risk area in southern Michigan, in lower Michigan, should I say, but up in the UP, same thing applies. Damaging winds, large hail, just going to be a little bit later on, timing 5 to, we'll say, 8 p.m. There's a brief window there if you're up in the western part of the UP for severe weather. So that is your update. We'll be live here on the page with Chasers in the Field, as well as radar coverage covering today's risk. We are already tracking our real-time data here, we already have our instability filling in. This is your map on the screen now. These red lines indicate that your instability is starting to build. We already have about 1,500 joules of surface-based cape building in the west side of Michigan. We'll be, watching, we'll be watching radar here at this point for storm initiation to happen. So got you guys covered. And I'll be hopping on a live stream here at 10 a.m. This video will probably be up after that. But either way, we'll see you guys later today. Stay safe. Have multiple ways to receive warnings. Got you guys covered.